Welcome. So as part of our comparison between Workspace One and Intune for Mac OS, we're going to look at their application packaging tools, which I think is actually one of the bigger disparities. So in the article, you'll find a link to download the utility for Intune. So the, the big thing you need to do from the outset is set the permissions. And you'll see here, we'll show you the command right here. You just hit chmod plus x into an app util, and that gives you your rights that you need. Now let's actually look at trying to build an application. And it's actually relatively easy. So you're going to invoke the app. You're going to use the C, and you're going to specify where the app is. So in this example, we're going to be packaging PowerShell, which is great. And then dash O for where it's going to go. You know, we'll put it in downloads. So you see here it's creating that package. I already had one, so it's going to override it. And so what you do now is if you want to say go ahead and look at what you just did, you can actually use the dash R and you specify the app you just built. You can see the added dot in tune Mac at the end of it. Just do verbose. You can see here, you can see the whole application. Really neat. Now, one of the things I really love about this, and we're going to step back to this command we just ran, is that you can actually customize the bundle identifier if you specify the bundle ID and the version. So we're going to do a dash I. And we're going to call this com.intune.powershell. And then we specify dot n for the version. We're going to go one dot one dot o. And yeah, sure, we'll overwrite it. All good. So now that we've overwritten it, we're going to run that command that we just ran again. And now you're going to see here that the bundle ID has been changed, and the, you can see that build number we set. And I think that's just a really neat thing that they actually support within here. But that's the extent of what you can do with it. Uh, the big challenge that you're going to run into is it only supports PKGs. So no DMGs, no APPs, nothing else, just that, nothing but it. And so that is one of the significant gaps. Now, if we go ahead and we look at the VMware Admin Assistant, let's see how that works. So see with that, I just dragged the, the PKG over there. See, so it's just parsing it. Parsing completed, hit done. But here's the difference. I can also go ahead and do other things as well. So say I want to do BB edit, which is a DMG. I can do that. I go into my apps itself, and I'm going to add more apps. Don't know if this will actually work, but we'll try anyway. It's going to wrap an app file. See me to grab admin access. App is a little bit larger, so it's going to take a minute to do its thing. You see that's all done. And you'll see is that it actually creates a folder called admin assistant, which which will keep all of your apps and their metadata, which is really neat. So here's our plist that we that we can see. So the admin assistant and with the workspace one, their map management is, is built on Monkey M U N K I. So you might notice some similarities here. So you'll see here is it actually it's actually quite nice because it you're going to see in here, you're going to show see your package ID and your version. So you can actually manipulate a lot of the stuff when you upload apps into the console. So it gives you some really great capabilities. And you can see here, you have all this great information. And so you can actually modify that because it's going to rely on this metadata when it actually builds the app in your console, which is, you know, a really neat thing.